Hi everyone, welcome back to the next video in the Excel automation series. Let's see our agenda for today. Today we are going to discuss how we can insert a column in a table, how we can delete an existing column from a table in UiPath Studio, how we can get the table range which is having pivot in Excel and how we can get a table range which is not having pivot in Excel and all of this we are going to see with the help of our demonstration. For the demonstration what I have kept is I have an Excel which I called sample Excel file. I have two sheets sheet 1 and sheet 2 and sheet 2 is having a table of data. So if I go to the design so this is a table and the table name is table 49 and our objective is to insert a column between C and D. So let's say some of our automation need we require a column which is to be inserted between C and D. How we can do this with the UiPath studio that we are going to see. So we go back to your path studio first thing first we have an excel application scope and we point it to the excel we go to activities and inside the excel so app integration excel and then there is a separate menu for tables and I select the insert column okay so if I just go back here you will see inside the processing there is also one activity called insert and delete columns so this activity will work when you are working with a normal range but when you are working with table you have to select this option under the table okay so let's go back to the properties so we have four properties here only the input properties so the first one is a sheet name so the sheet name for us is sheet 2 we go here and specify sheet 2 what is the table name we go here go to the design this is the table name table 49 we can rename it also but I'll just use the table 49 here next what is the column name I want to insert so let's say I want to insert a column name as data and what is the position so which position I want to insert the data so 0 1 2 and 3 so I want to insert a column after the third position between C and D so I'll specify here 3 so if you'll see position is of type integer 32 okay let's save the workflow and I want to run this flow in a debug mode so I just put a right line here okay I'll just keep it blank I'll put a debugger and let's go to the Excel save everything minimize this and debug the file okay so I have encountered an exception I think the Excel is open that's why let me just close the Excel stop the flow okay let's debug the file So UiPath has opened the Excel because we have specified the visible property true. This activity is executed and we are the debugger is now on the right line. Let's go back to the Excel and we will see the a new column is inserted with the header data. So this is how the insert column works in a table. Now let's see what happens if we do not provide the position. So I can leave this position as blank. Okay. I'll save this workflow. Let's delete this guy okay I'll save everything close and now what I'm doing is I am not providing the position let's see how this activity behaves debug the file okay so now you will see whenever we are not providing any range the column is inserted at the end so that is a thing to remember and so this is how the insert columns works in your path studio now we have just inserted a column and we have seen how an insert column work let's say there is an automation piece where we require to delete the column from end table how do we do that similar activity if you go to the activity span you will see under the app integration I'll just close this so under Excel processing and the table we have similar activity called delete column so don't confuse it with the delete columns of the processing so I'll just drag and drop here delete column we can get rid of the insert column here so let's go and check the properties for delete column similar properties what is the sheet name so the sheet name for me is sheet 2 what is the table name so I can go to the design table 49 is the table name okay so I go here properties table name is table name table 49 so this is string it will accept in double quotes and now I have to specify the column name so which column I want to delete let's say I want to delete the data column so I go here and specify the data okay save everything okay let's try to run 
let me just close this one save okay and excel will automatically open because the visible property is true okay so you will see now the data column is no more available so this is how it is easy to use the insert and the delete column with respect to tables in your Apache studio one more thing to note here so all of this properties so if i go to the properties so all of this sheet name column name and the table name can be provided as an argument or variables to the workflow and then the same can be used in these activities okay so the next thing we want to discuss in this video is to get the table range so if you'll see this is a table table 49 if i go to the design table 49 and the range of the table is from a1 to d22 so if it is a normal range we can always go ahead and go ahead and read it with a read range and then we can get the range right so but since this is a table how we can how we can get the range of a table so for that if i go to the properties so for that if i go back to the webart studio under the activities i have an activity called get table range okay so this works only on the tables so i will just get rid of delete column go to the activities again drag and drop this guy here so let's go to the properties and see so the first property is what is the sheet name so the sheet name for us is sheet 2 okay so let's go ahead and copy and paste the table name table 49 i go back to your studio provide the table name right and what is the range so the range is an output variable of type string so i will just hit ctrl k and create a variable of range okay and now in the right line i want to just type the range as range okay so i'll just remove the breakpoint here okay so let's go back to the properties so i'm telling you ipad to read the table 49 from sheet 2 and store the range in a variable called range and then we are printing the range okay let's save this workflow i'll close this one and run the file okay let's go to the output and you will see we have got a range of a1 to d22 let's go back to the excel project okay so the range we got was a1 to d22 so this is how we can get the range now think of a scenario where this table is not a simple table but it's a pivot table so let me do one thing let me just convert this table into a pivot table so i can go here insert and pivot table i'll just uh, select the table as table 49 i want to pivot to in this existing worksheet and i want the pivot to be created in h1 location this here okay so let's drag and drop some of the properties here drag and drop some filters so let's say i have a pivot table here okay so now if i go to the analyze option so you will see the pivot table name is pivot table 7 so this is also a table so let's see what if i just go here in the get table range and now instead of the table 49 i just pass the pivot table name pivot table 7 okay we'll go here and try to run this flow in the debug mode so i'll just put a debugger here debug the file so we have encountered an exception it says that could not retrieve the pivot pivot table seven table range so why this is so because the table which we are trying to get is a pivot table so uipath has got this for us so you can always go to the properties and in the property you will see there is a boolean variable which says is pivot so is pivot variable means whenever you check this variable uipath will consider that okay you are reading a table which is of type pivot and then it will give you the range okay let's try to run it now debug the file okay and we have got the variable let's go to the locals and you will see this variable is initialized to h3 to p34 we can always go ahead and step into and this range would be printed h3 to p34 let's go here and see h3 to p34 so h h3 to p34 i guess right p34 okay so 
we have got the range for the entire pivot table so it has started from h3 h3 to p34 so this is how the get table range works in your studio and we have seen how we can customize this activity for pivots and for simple table so i'll wrap this video here to know more about this activity we can always go to docs.uipod.com and read the official documentation here i'll provide links in the description if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and happy automation